How to make a pivot chart with Excel 2022, quick and easy 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I bring you back with yet another Excel tutorial. And in this Excel tutorial, we're gonna be discussing how we can make ourselves our very own pivot chart. And it's gonna be very quick and a very easy tutorial. Now, pivot charts and pivot tables are quite different. So just know this. So don't mix the two up because a pivot table is a full fetch table diagram that comes over your Excel and a pivot chart is basically like a pie chart, but goes with the pivot details. So uh, now that we have those differences out of the way, let's go to Excel. Now know this, that a lot of people find extremely difficult for some reason to use Excel, but Excel is extremely easy. So do not worry, I will take you through it all and I will show you all the basics when it comes to using Excel. So uh, without further ado, uh, well, let's get right into it. All you need to do is just sit back, relax, listen to all the information I have to provide you and just watch this video till the end to properly know how to create a pivot chart when it comes to Excel. So first of all, what we're going to be doing is we're going to obviously either go with a template or just create a blank workbook for ourselves to create a pivot chart. So I'm going to go with a template first, then I'm going to show you how to start it from scratch. So let's go with this. Let's go with home inventory and look at this. Look at all this information that we have in our Excel table. And this is how everything looks like. Now, let's say I want to create a pivot chart out of this. Now to create a pivot chart, we're going to go on insert. And over here, again, this is a pivot table and we're not going to be using this because pivot tables are used to easily arrange and summarize complex data into a table. A pivot chart is going to be here and a pivot chart obviously uses pivots to graphically summarize data and explore complicated data. Now to make a pivot, you're obviously going to click over here. Now select table data or range. Now you can select any range that you have and choose where you want the pivot chart to be placed. And obviously it could be a new worksheet if you want to. I just recommend you choose existing worksheet if you want to undo it or anything. And obviously if you want to use an external data source, you can use that if you want to. It's totally up on you. Now, after you do that, all you need to do is uh, add this data to data model. That totally depends on you. Uh, and again, make sure that the table range is correct because table range is what matters most. Now, obviously for your proper range, you're going to select the cells that you want to add the range of. So let's select it from here. And there we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to add these into our pivot. So let's say I'll add the items and I'm going to add the descriptions. Look at that. All that is now added into our pivot chart right here. Um, just, and then I'm just going to move our pivot chart and keep it here. So look at that. That is our pivot chart. And obviously you can start moving these in filters and uh, you can change if you want them to be in the legends and the access categories and you can just mess around with all of that. And this just makes uh, it look much more nicer, much more appreciable and attractive. And look at that right here we have our chart or our different tables and down here we have our chart so this is how like easily it is that you can create a pivot chart now you can also change the data of the chart and for that all you need to do is you need to change the data up here and when you change the data up here it will simultaneously change the data down here and that is an amazing feature that excel provides you with and another great thing that Excel does is uh, it basically keeps all your data intact. So again, what you can do to make your pivot table more nicer and more friendlier is again, come up here. Uh, let's say we want this whole table to be in it. So for that, we're going to select the whole table, go on insert, go on pivot chart, and we're going to click on OK. A look at that. It totally creates the whole thing. And you can choose what to keep in the table and what not. That's totally upon you. And let's say I don't want to uh, add it in the items, etc. And then obviously from there on out, you can start bringing them here. And look at that. Simultaneously, it creates a pivot chart over here and it creates a pivot table on that side. Now you can delete the pivot table if you want. That's totally upon you. Now let's say I deleted the pivot table and now I only have the pivot chart. Now 
the pivot chart obviously if you want to mess around with the, uh, the formula or the color or the styles of the pivot chart you can go in styles let's say I want it to look like that looks much nicer and over here obviously we can sh uh, add in the data labels the data table error bars uh, obviously this will make it look much more crowded and congested so I recommend that you don't do this so I'm just gonna deselect the data tables and this is how it's gonna look again uh, you can change the colors and the different styles so let's go on colors and mess around with all the things that we can look at that it has a nice neon touch to it and we can just mess around with it as much as we want and if you go down here we have the different names of the custom ranges and the different categories that we have so yeah this is how you make a pivot table out of a template now let's make a pivot table out of a blank workbook and to create it out of a blank workbook obviously we're going to need to add in proper details like uh houses people let's let's make it for this so one house two house three house four house five house six house seven house and nine house in one house there's one person in the house there's three people in five eight 23, 25, 29, 30, and 42. Now let's say I want to make a pivot table out of this. All I need to do is I'm going to select it, go on insert, go on pivot chart, go on OK, and look at that. From here on out, I can add houses, I can add the people, and obviously I can change the filters if I want to. Let's say I want the people to be in the access categories, and look at that. This is how it's going to look and it just looks much greater and much nicer. And then again, you can mess around with the settings by coming on the style, changing the colors, messing around with the colors, go in the elements, you can add axes, titles, and other things if you want, error bars, data tables, and this is how it's gonna look. And obviously it gives it a much more nicer and professional look. And again, if you see the pivot table, you can delete it, bring this right here on the side. So yeah, I'm just gonna select this, bring it here, and yeah, this is basically what your pivot chart is going to look like once you add the data uh, into your Excel. So yeah, this and this is what you get when you create a pivot chart using Excel. And yeah, that is how basic and easy it is to play around with pivot charts. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.